Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance. In this tutorial, we're going to use the term loop builder to display a list of WooCommerce product categories on our homepage. We'll be using the tiny clothes design set in this tutorial, and we'll be looking at the homepage, which is already loaded in Breakdance. On our homepage, we see that we have a hard coded list of WooCommerce categories. We're going to go ahead and convert this into a dynamic list using the term loop builder. To begin, let's add the term loop builder element and then we'll select the Categories homepage global block. There's nothing in the global block right now, so then let's go ahead and open the global block to create our content. We'll start by adding a few elements. Let's add a div element, an image element, a text element, another text element, and finally a button. Now that we have all the elements that we're going to use, let's start designing. Let's change what we're previewing in Breakdance to be one of our product categories. So let's go ahead and select the clothes category. Then let's select our div and we're going to set the layout to vertical and center everything. Next, we're going to select the image and we're going to use dynamic data to select the product category image. So we can now see that the product category image is showing in our element. And last for our image element is adding a class called category image. Next, we're going to select our first text element. For this element, we will use the dynamic data point term name, and then we will set our text color to use our base global color. We'll then choose one of our font presets for the rest of the typography settings. Let's select the next text element. And for this element, we want to insert the archive description, which in this case, we don't have an archive description, but we're going to add that anyway for future use. Last, we're going to select our button. For the button element, we're going to set the text to shop now. We'll set our link to the term permalink, and let's go to the design tab. On the design tab, we're going to select the primary button and set the spacing at the top of the button to one rem. Let's save this and now let's go back to our homepage. Let's scroll down to the section that we were working on and we're going to select the term loop builder and let's start by building the query. For this example, we just want to get product categories. We'll start by disabling the load terms by query option. Then we're going to set the taxonomy to product category, the limit to four, and this is because we only want four results in this example. And finally, we're going to enable the hide empty control. Okay, so now let's design our layout. So we're going to go to design list, and we're going to choose the grid layout and set items per row to four. Next on the container, we will set the padding to zero and we'll apply that to all of them. And the final thing we want to do is to add the class category loop. Now I'm not going to go into the CSS in this video, but if I open up the category loop class, I've added some custom CSS that creates the different rotations based on the end child. So the next thing we'll want to do is delete the original hard coded list we started with. Then we're going to place the term loop builder in front of this decorative image. Let's save the page and now let's go ahead and view the home page on the front end. And we can now see that we have different product categories on the home page and you can now click each category to look at the products related to that category. 